Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make the cookie part of the ice cream cookie sandwiches. And you guys know this recipe, but I had to show you it because I just got one of the KitchenAid stand mixers and it's so beautiful. So we're gonna see how amazing this stand mixer is when it makes cookies because I'm totally nerding out about this kitchen appliance. So you want to cream together your butter and brown sugar, and then you wanna add your almond milk and vanilla. I've made this recipe so many times and I still just make it literally all the time. It's one of the most popular recipes on my channel and blog, but for good reason because these cookies are absolutely incredible. So then you want to add your mixture of flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt, and just incorporate that as well. Guys, look how cute this mixer is. This isn't sponsored. I'm just absolutely obsessed. It's just so retro and so cute. Okay, moving on. So then you want to add in your dairy-free chocolate chips or whatever kind of add-ins you want to put in these cookies. Keep in mind that they will be the outside of an ice cream cookie sandwich. So you want to do something that's not too, too chunky. That's why chocolate chips are pretty much perfect. So then you just want to you bake those you guys ask me where I get this baking pan all the time I got it from home sense which is called home goods in the US okay so we're using three different vegan ice cream options so the first one is this strawberry lemonade sorbetto the second one is a chocolate coconut milk ice cream and the third one is the so delicious salted caramel mousse so you just want to smear some of your ice cream into the center and then just to make it look nice and pretty I wanted to dip mine in some chocolate. So melt your chocolate with some coconut oil. That way it's easier to dip. As you can see, this chocolate's pretty runny and that's because I put about a teaspoon of coconut oil in it when it was melting. So then I, as soon as I dipped them, put them directly into the freezer so that they didn't melt. And then for the second one, I put the mousse in the middle. As you can see, there are swirls of caramel in this. It's absolutely incredible. So just smush that in between your cookies. And to make it nice and fancy, I just kind of like smooth out the edge here with my spoon. And then I dipped this one in chocolate as well. Oh, I forgot to mention, you obviously have to let the cookies cool before you do this because you can't do this with warm, gooey chocolate chip cookies. So I put my cookies in the freezer uh, to freeze for a few minutes before I put the ice cream in just so that it was easier to smush the ice cream between them and so that they were easier to dip so that's just a quick tip for you and then for this one I got some of the mini chips ahoy cookies with rainbow chips because these are the only ones that are vegan and while well, they're vegan here in Canada they might not be where you live but they are here and I just crushed them up and put them on the outside and then for the third sandwich I use the chocolate coconut milk ice cream from President's Choice this is hands down my favorite ice cream brand right now they absolutely killed the texture it is so perfect it still stays soft it doesn't get too icy in the freezer which i love and by this point the chocolate was having a little bit of a harder time sticking so i just used a spoon to dump it on like this you don't have to dip it in chocolate it's just highly recommended and then i covered this one with some slivered almonds and yeah then just put that right in the freezer and then to finish it off this was honestly just for the picture you don't have to do this i drizzled on some chocolate on top but yeah that is it i hope you guys enjoyed these ice cream sandwiches and i hope you make them and stay nice and cool this summer